G'day, I'm Tim Thompson and I'm out at Colcairn, New South Wales with Tim White, professional fencing contractor, to have a look at his rig and how he makes his job work easier. This is another fence line, top tips. Tim, how are you mate? I'm well, Tim. Mate, thank you very much for having us out today. Pleasure. You've got quite a few modifications on this trailer yep. and it's really impressive stuff, mate. <laughs> Do you mind taking us through it? For sure, Tim. All right, awesome. Let's jump in with the back here. We'll yep. start there yep. and we'll go right round because it includes your tractor as well. That's right, yep. So this is our rollout hinge joint. Uh, I have a winch over here. This back piece was extra because my pipe was out the back and when I went to winch it up, it didn't work properly. So I put this on just to bring it out so it works better. And yeah, it just rolls out the back. I use the winch to lift the rolls up and put them back into the position. I don't have to lift anything. I can lift it from the ground with the winch and I can lift the roll out Usually there's four rolls in there, so I can lift the roll out, put it on here in a couple of minutes. Got a vice there hanging off the back of the trailer? Yeah, yeah, just for doing bits and pieces, holding bits and pieces when you've got to grind off ends or cutting gate clips or whatever. Always handy. Swear by that? Yeah, it's just handy. Now um, you're a fence line gear fan, you've got a fence line spinner there. I do. Got to point yeah. out the sponsor's this equipment. This one tips up when you travel. I'm not going to lift it up today. It's got a roll of wire on it. And um, yeah, so, but it, I can drive the tractor along and run out wire. You can lift that spinner up with the winch. Can you explain how you do that? Yeah, just the winch comes over and hooks onto this. Then I pull it up to, over here with the winch and it stands it up. This is where I keep my strainers. Um, I've got a few sets. Um, they're all just a U-bolt off, off an old trailer I had. Um, yeah, put them in there and they're not, I'm not having to search for them all the time. I, I know where they are. Um, same with bits and pieces in here. I've got caps and stuff they're using all the time. My wire strain, uh, my chains, they live in the box. The chain lives in the box. The head lives out here. So I can grab onto that head and pull it out, or I grab this one and it'll, and the chain just comes out. You're not having to fight with heads in the box as well. So that all works pretty sweet too. Uh, my hose reel, just for a hog ring gun, I don't use air hammer or anything. Uh, my air compressor's on the front. I just run a normal stick welder. Uh, it's an AKVR generator, so there's eight metres of lead on my, my um, welding leads. Um, I like to leave my welder in the, in the box here. I'm not dragging it all around the dirt anymore. That was one thing. I've been through a few of them, and they get dust and dirt in them. They don't like it, so and they die. So I've... Um, that was a cheap sole for that thing. Then the tractor, it, it hook, oh, the trailer hooks onto that tractor with uh, just a normal hitch. It's pretty simple, you just back in and hook up and go. I've got a barbed wire runner here. When I'm running multiples, I'll stack them. So if I'm running three or four, I run one one way and then turn it over and run one the other way. Um, yeah, so that works pretty neat. So that lets you park your tractor in the middle of a run, you don't have to walk as far? Yeah. Uh, this is where I keep my steels, where I put my steel, when I put my steels in. So it's basically get off the tractor, walk around the back, put it on the mark, flog it in, that's it, get back on the tractor and go. So no air hammers for you? No, no. Shoulders don't cope. Um, How many of those steel posts can you fit in that rack there, Tim? Uh, about 200. Between 8 and 10 strainers. 100 mil strainers I can fit in there as well. Um, now that system for you, just to pause you there, that system for you works pretty well. You go pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. This 300 meter run, marking it out, running the barb was an hour and 15, I think. So I just got bits and bobs in here. My earplugs, earmuffs, and another set of 
handles and a jacket and some just bits and pieces, pin locks and stuff you're using. Oh, this is a valuable tool. Number one tool for turning an electric fence on and off. Because <laughs> people always tell you they've turned the electric fence off. Yeah, yeah, they, they do. This is my post lifter. So it just hangs in there. So if I'm putting a post in and it's not quite right or it's just out of a line, I can just walk around the front. I'm not having to go back to the trailer. It's on here all the time. This is where I put steels in. So it's just a matter of um, picking it out and um, pulling the lifting it a bit or pulling it out and putting it in again so that works pretty neat uh, fire extinguishers and bits and bobs in here I've got a petrol hammer uh, that does maxis and just normal steels my measuring wheel and my paint saves a lot of bending uh, I'll, I'll um, oh, my hammer there uh, in here I've got a snatch strap and some tools uh, my whole green gun lives in this one, so it keeps it nice and oiled. And, uh, hammer drill, that's what I use for cutting off the tops of strainer posts if they bell out or... So you try, and, you try and avoid using angle grinders in the paddock? You're trying to, yeah, more. Uh, yeah, so getting away from using the grinder and it, it just goes everywhere. This is quick and it's safe and it's effective. My welder lives in here. I use these for gates and bits and bobs and stuff like that. Um, grinders in there. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, I've got crowbar in here. Down in the back. I was always finding it was in the bottom. And then this pipe here lives in beside it. So they just slide up towards the front. And they're not rolling around in the bottom. And they're easy to find and it just takes a minute to grab them out. That's what I found is just trying not to be searching for stuff all the time. How many years did it take you to come up with this design, Tim? <laughs> uh, I've been working on it a while. I'm thinking I might go bigger, but I don't think I will. Bigger is not going to be able to get it through trees, and this thing, I can drag it anywhere. It's not so big. It's only it's a 7x5 trailer. Well, Tim, this is a pretty impressive trailer. You've stayed small because it's a lot more nimble for you with the jobs that you need to do, That's get around right. trees and that sort of thing. Yep. Uh, and this is the first version of this trailer that you've built. That's you right. You tell me. Yeah. Not yeah. bad for a first effort, mate. I love this winch. Like, I've seen people recently <laughs> yeah. that have got $3,000 cranes on the back of their utes and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Just to do what you're doing with a $100 winch and a bit of um, square tube. Yeah, that's it. That's amazing, that's mate. What you can do with a welder. <laughs> mate, we've, we've just got to stop using our backs and start using our brains, well, that's don't it. we? That's where I'm at now. You're, you're into efficiency and you're into yep. ease of work. Yeah. Um, and because, doing it longer. Yeah, well, exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. I like what I do. It's a good job, isn't it? Yeah. 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 You get to see something for your work at the end of the day. Well, that's it. Hey. That's it. Tim, thank you very much for taking me through the gear here, mate. Um, it's always wonderful to see what other people are doing and i've learned a few other tips from you along the way that i'll yep. be incorporating in some future videos so i really yeah. thank you for that pleasure all the best mate yeah Cheers. thanks Tim. thanks for sharing too easy don't forget guys if you like videos like this hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up and there's plenty more on timthompson.ag